So here I'm going from just a tomato that I picked off the tree. Make sure it's red and ripe. Should be hundreds of seeds in there. So I just kind of spray it. Oh, plenty of seeds. And then I give it a scoop of compost and dirt on top. And just keep it watered. And a couple weeks it takes to sprout, but it'll look like this in a couple weeks. All, everything pretty much sprouted and there's some weeds. So I'll go through here and I'll just kind of look for the best ones and I'll keep those and I'll pick the rest. You only need one. So you've got way too many. You could even keep these and plant them again. They're really easy to transplant. Make sure you label them. Especially with tomatoes, they all kind of look the same. They only have Everglades now, so. And then give it a little bit more time. And, you know, I'm down to maybe one or two. I'll, I can pick one of these or keep them, but they'll grow fine. And then I'll just go to, um, it'll turn into this. Then I'll just have the one left. And you can see it'll grow just perfectly fine in a little pot like that for a small tomato plant, like a Everglades tomato and you'll get plenty of tomatoes. But if you want something bigger, you wanna to go to a bigger pot, maybe like a five gallon, six, seven, eight gallon. The bigger the pot, the bigger the plant. And you would just take it out of the pot, dig it down in there, give it a little bit of support, like a bamboo stick or a tomato cage to help it grow up. And after a couple months, you'll have a huge tomato plant. And this is an Everglades tomato plant, which does get big compared to other ones. And it likes to vine out, so I want to have some places for it to go. But see the tomato cage right in the middle helps keep things elevated, supported as it grows. Because if there was no cage or support, everything would just be on the ground. Wouldn't be able to get that high or bushy. And then you can just keep that 